the winner of race three, the Red Palace, daughter of Patala Palace, coming off a race very well prepared by Candice Bass Robinson. Candice, well done. Thank you, Vicky. Is she an easy filly to prepare for these races after a rest? Yeah, Vicky, she's, she's had quite a rest because she, after the Durban season, she went into quarantine and she had to sit there for a while and tracked all the way back and then she went to Terry and Annabelle to the farm for a, uh, a short while and came back in again. But I think since her Durban trip, she's kind of kept her, her she's kept stripped quite nicely. You know, prior to that, when I gave her a rest going into the season, she, you know, she let down quite badly. So I'm glad to see now with a bit of racing through the season, she's actually kept her, her fitness levels and she's, she's stripped down quite nicely. So I think she'll be an easier filly for me to train. Um, in the season coming up, but really good win from her today, Vicky. It's the first time I've had her on the grass today. I wanted to give her a gallop here today, um, you know, especially in a, distant, a trip that's that's way short of her best. Um, you know, it's 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 never an easy 1400 here too because they good, go a good pace, and uh, you know she was nicely placed today, although had in the perfect position, and she quickened up really nicely today. So I think that was a very impressive win. Um, she still needed that run, so I think she'll come on quite a bit. And obviously, when she goes over a trip and that, I think uh, we'll see the best of her. So I, I look forward to a season ahead of her. Her season ahead of her. Have you mapped it out already? No, it's pretty much. Uh, Vicky will head towards the Victor Stakes. I would think, obviously, just depending on, on um, condition-wise, and then obviously the Paddock Stakes, and then. Midday, we'll see how we go from there. But um, yeah, she's she's a very exciting filly, and uh, well done to all the partners, Terry and Annabelle, to Manus and to Carlos, um, great bunch of people, and uh, so passionate about her too. Great ride from Elder and super win, and obviously to oh, Marky as well. I'm forgetting about him. <laughs> um, but yeah, lovely win, and as I say, I look forward to the season ahead with her. Well done, Candice. Thank you. Indeed, a, a good uh, training feed by Candice, uh, preparing her well first time out, and uh, Elder. Um, were you happy when you went down to the start? I'm never happy, Vicky. That's terrible to hear. I'm sorry about your problems. <laughs> no, listen, um, I think there's a bit to work with. I, I know she was really well at home. I, I thought the 14 will be a bit sharp for her, which it kind of is. But she was sharp and well enough to be able to be competitive. And obviously, you'd respect for Justin's also over seven for long because she's like a machine over that trip. And uh, we all know what she's capable of. But Jesus, fully turned it on today. And uh, I really like the fact that she came to the straight and I just let her take a stride early. I went on done that, she started lengthening into a stride and finding a bit of strength in there. And uh, I thought it was the right thing to do for her, being a filly that goes 10 furlong, or essentially can stay 10 furlong. And uh, she pulled me into the bridle. I liked the way she done it, especially on a course that's not 100% ideal for her, but it is a course she can thrive in uh, off of her. And uh, yeah, I think I was quite impressive. That filly in second place is no slouch. It's filly's just obviously improved significantly. And uh, yeah, I think it's a nice filly. The Andrews, nice having them here. I think it's maybe the second or third time I've got their colors on. And it's been success again. So thank you for having me. The best is thanks for the opportunity, Drakenstein. Mark, the best team, Mr. Bass, I'm pretty sure he's watching. This is the apple of his eye. Uh, I think then Mark and then Candace, but I'm not sure which way around. But I know she's first. So everyone involved in this filly, I think, got a lovely filly on the hands. The rest of the owners, thanks so much. And Drakenstein, so thanks. thanks for having me. Elder, was it nice to have uh, Mrs. Bass lead her in? Yes, and she said, well done, and she said, good ride, so it's not something I hear all the time. So I was really impressed by that, so thank you to Mrs. Bass for the compliment. I'm pretty sure she's just happy because Mr. Bass is going to be happy, so that's the way the wheel spins, and I'm, I'm just glad to be part of it. And yet again, to Mark and everyone involved, the Andrews, Mr. Mr. Andrews has got the colours on, so I wasn't sure he was going to swap the skull cap. Anthony also does a lot of work on this filly, uh, kudos to him. He, even though he's not riding it now, he puts in so much time and effort for this goal. And uh, it's just nice, the unity that we've got. And uh, yeah, let, let us go from strength to strength. Well done. Thank you. Aldo, making a lot of people happy today. Uh, Terry's, I think, going to come across. And I'm sure we're not going to manage to convince Annabelle. Maybe she's waiting for the, the bigger ones. Yeah, I know. Trying to get Annabelle up here. I, I've tried all the time for years and years. It's not going to happen. Uh, Were you happy with the win? Of course. Any win we're happy with, but especially this one. Um, yeah, she, she did look probably a little bit more ready than, than the Snakes filly uh, today. Um, so well done to Candice because um, she's had a good long layoff and uh, she's come back fighting fit. I think the trip, I, I, don't, I didn't hear what Candice said, so uh, I might be repeating it, but I think the trip to Durban really did her well. She seems to have matured, settled down and uh, just a more mature filly and, and an easier filly to train and ride, I think. So, so great, and uh, we look forward to the season. Looking very exciting at this point. Yeah, at this point, it's uh, very good. But, uh, you know, there's, there's some good horses around the country, but uh, we're there to take them on. Good luck. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, then, to Terry Andrews, together with the balance of the owners involved in Red Palace. And uh, Terry Andrews, not only owner, but also breeder of uh, number six Red Palace. So, brilliant result. The yard seemed very happy and... Uh, 
so does Aldo, so that's a good thing. Red, number six, Red Palace, the winner.